You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce, and here's what's in the news for Monday, January 23rd. The Wall Street Journal reports continued high oil prices are expected to boost fourth quarter earnings of ExxonMobil, Chevron, and ConocoPhillips. But those profits by market value will be capped by sluggish results from their refining units and depressed prices for natural gas. The Wall Street Journal also reports about two years after book publishers backed the pricing increases for new ebooks, a low price trend is emerging. More publishers are testing 99 cent temporary prices on ebooks to hopefully attract readers to try more authors. Reuters reports not many U.S. companies are planning to increase hiring in the next six months, even though they expect the economy to be somewhat stronger this year, according to an industry survey by the National Association for Business Economics. Reuters also reports EU government's preliminary approval of a ban on Iranian crude oil imports as they attempt to cut off the country's main source of income and pressure it to rein in its nuclear activities. However, to protect Europe's struggling economy, they agreed to delay full implementation of an embargo until July 1st. Finally, Bloomberg reports European equity valuations have dropped to the lowest level since 2004 compared with the U.S. The stock's Europe 600 index trades at 1.43 times book value, or assets minus liabilities, after falling 11% in 2011. That compares with the 2.14 for the Standard & Poor's 500 index. For more updates on these stories and more, keep it right here to the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce.